have come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. <laughs> and one very able advisor. Thank you, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. I must admit, I once thought of groups like yours as opportunists, enablers of war. But you've trained our new army well. Order has returned sooner than expected. Perhaps I was wrong about these private military companies. We prefer private security providers, sir. Most of Maverick's contracts do focus on security. Yes, well, the security can mean many things. There's a saying I like. One sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes, by taking a life, others can be preserved. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. A soldier and a philosopher. You are full of surprises, Mr. Lightning Bolt. I could say the same about you, Mr. Prime Minister. What is happening? Someone's blocking the lead vehicle. Hold on. Clear the road! This is official state business! Yes! Yes! We need the 
wide open. Khrushchev, very good. But do not rest easy just yet, huh?
Are you all right? You're almost clear of the tunnel. Just hang on. Gotta try hard on that. Did you want to practice first? This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. It's over. <laughs> Lucky devil. <laughs> So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, 
leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. Oh, uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To parry incoming hits, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. moment to deflect an attack and expose your enemy to counterattack. Had your film? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human, real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder. Where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. A bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself.
and you are. I am IF Prototype LQ84I. IF Prototype. Interface Prototype. All autonomous UGs feature high-level onboard artificial intelligence. An additional prototype interface enables verbal communication. I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay then, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Yeah, I just dodged a bullet. All right, I'm heading for the refinery. I was wondering when you'd come, Jack the Ripper. No one calls me that anymore. Dolsaev, where is he? 
I can show you a better time than that crusty old bear. You're in charge here? I am Mistral. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. A natural born killer, even as a child. That was a long time ago. I was born in Algeria myself, you know? I'm only half French. And? We had our own civil war in the 90s. So you see? Cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family. Everything. <sighs> but I butchered those fuckers. What? My family's killers. That's when I realized I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. I'd found my calling. Proud of that, are you? What happened, happened. To be honest, I found it quite dull. My enemies fell like domino. One after another, not once did I feel threatened. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times, I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then, I met him. Who? And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals gave my life meaning. Ideals, Jack. What are yours? I... protect the weak. <laughs> Still? So naive. And if I must kill to protect them, then so be it. Hmm. It seems we have less in common than I thought. I'll take that as a compliment. If you would kill for your ideals, then surely you are ready to die for them. Self up. 
I see. Time to get you out of there. We're sending a helicopter. Secure an LZ. Understood. Got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep, all set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully, anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah, I say let's throw them a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. Amusing on two levels. Let's go. hacer que no lo vimos. Vámonos ya. Yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no, I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? 
Or maybe live on the street, raking scraper above, nah? Then this good knee dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? What that mother scone don't put me on a rass boat? They pack us all a pickable doty container, next thing we know, we're here, at that zombie lab. All kids, like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here what them scunt wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day organ. So you ran? Uh-huh. It's shame me not a bad ass robot ninja man, same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just plain, nah? Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain would get cut out? Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. Right, right, right. I thought you said stealth ops were your special. Once we set up a new lab, they lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes, yes you'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress, and America has suffered long enough. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me see you out. George! 
laid in. You've heard of chloroform? A potent anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos. Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out. Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Hmm? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ting, what if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Cállate! <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Stop it! Now! I'll kill him, I swear! President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? No pain, no more fasta while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! We've been here you go while I got them scone at the base. Why the rasa you not take me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aw. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun in games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. <laughs> Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their parts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, right? They import those brains legally, for medical purposes. It's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right, I... Hold that thought.
I will patrol ahead. Military cyborg! You are not licensed to operate in this area! You're in violation of state and federal law! Guess you'd better arrest me then. <laughs> 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 Eighteen three one zero four point seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? Open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nano suppress. Listen to them. What are you talking about? Shh.
<sighs> Raiden, are you injured? I thought they had a choice. A fair choice. Not like you. People are different. As opposed to AIs? You're all the same, huh? You and your brothers. Manipulating mankind for our own good. It appears my statement has upset you. I apologize. Uh, no, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as we learn. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my defined directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him... dependable. Until now. Scouting data for the next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. My name is Monsoon. Of the winds of destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. on the insides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Phnom Pen taught me that. Yes, you aren't the only one to grow up with. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in us. This world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something. Means. The DNA of the soul. They are the culture. They are everything we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, and the means. How about the ship? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. <sighs> Samples when you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty mean. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. That is, until the illusion was broken. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was 
off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak, but I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this is a wake-up call to what I really believe, what I really am. What are you saying? I'm saying Jack is back. Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This... this is madness. You... Do it! All right. Pain. This is why I fight. <laughs> <laughs> that nickname you love so much. Wanna know how I got it? Actually, why don't I give you a demonstration? I think it's time for Jack to let her rip! Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. 
Later. Sliders in the area. Perhaps they could be put to use. Keep climbing like that. It will be much easier for you. Good rider, yes! Regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. Just look how you turned out. Of course, running it in the real world just got a bit too complicated. Doing it virtually, though? No fuss, no muss. Straight to the brain. It's like a dream. Well, maybe dream is the wrong word. Kill some POWs, some civilians. <laughs> they enjoy it though. We give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time. <laughs> Plus, they get a shiny new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold. Manipulate into performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. <sighs> you just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just managed the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. How's this, Jack? We can play up here without damaging the merchandise. What happens in three hours? <laughs> Don't matter. You're too late. Even at Mach 2, you wouldn't make it. And killing you. It's gonna take some time. Slow and painful.
kids are cool, Jack. And I'm very in touch with my inner child. <laughs> set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi-auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! Uh. EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Have a nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. Chopper around.
coming back. This is easier said than done, you know. Sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. See meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. Ends here. Okay. Let's dance. Yeah! <laughs> 
cyborg enhancements. Was this outcome necessary? Evidence? Inconclusive. I guess even AIs don't know everything. It is likely no single correct answer exists. Additionally, human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms. I was not programmed with these guidelines. You're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Mr. Ryden, sir? Where is she? I'll tell her you've arrived. Over here! <laughs> Hi there, stranger. Hey. You're looking good. Aw, who's your little friend? Oh, it's a long story. Shake? <laughs> good boy! <laughs> uh, I guess we don't really have time to catch up. Sorry, not really. It's okay. Follow me. So exactly what kind of... You'll see. You built that? Yep. hybrid lace ramjet engine I designed. Well, are you in a hurry or not? <laughs> right. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Hmm? <laughs> The 
sun is already set. You're good to go. Please switch off all cell phones and portable gaming devices. And remember, this is a no-smoking flight. <laughs> Roger. Ready for countdown. No time for that. Ignition! we got the right place? Gotta be. It's the only base big enough with security contracted out to World Marshal. All right. I'm headed in. Saucy Jack. Just a little too late, as usual. I'm strong. Impressive little toy you've got there. But your plan ends here. <laughs> Idiot. You're not ending our plan. You're expanding it. Check the internet lately. Raiden, Air Force One is turning back to the States. What? How'd they know? Someone posted photos of what's happening on the base. The whole world is up in arms. Show me. How did they... The story leaked early. Then Marshall's plan is ruined. The hell it is. Look what they're saying. This 
story just went live, and already they're calling for blood. But the president was saved. And yet American blood was spilled. By Americans. Besides, a few dozen soldiers is tragic, but nothing to start a major war over. That's just the spark, son. The excuse we've been waiting for. America's wanted this war for years. The Patriots, they knew war was good for the economy. Four years later, their legacy lingers on. The memes. They left us their great isms. Nationalism, unilateralism, materialism. Welcome maxims for those with no faith, without guiding principles of their own. Give yourself up to the whole. No need to better yourself. You're American. You're number one. Then the only value left is dollar value, the economy. So we'll do whatever it takes to keep it humming along. Even war, especially war. Bullshit. The Patriots planted the seed. We don't need them around to filter and foster their memes any longer. We're spreading them just fine ourselves. Every American man, woman, and child. We're all sons of the Patriots now! We just need something to jumpstart the economy out of this funk. This recession has been stuck in since the fall of SOP. <laughs> And the military costs? Wasting billions is going to help the economy? BMCs, arms manufacturers, job creators, Jack. All those workers spending money, paying taxes. Trust me, a little war can work wonders. So grease the gears with some innocent blood, is that it? Oh, relax, Jack. It's a war on terror. We're not out to kill civilians. Extremists, lawless gangs, madmen. <sighs> of course, that would have to include you. Wouldn't want any eyewitness reports complicating the message.
slippery little bastard. I don't have time for this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's go! The hell are you thinking? <laughs> Played college ball, you know. That's a cushy Ivy League school. <laughs> I'm not one of those beltway pansies. I could break the president in two with my bare hands. Don't fuck with this, Senator. What the hell are you? Why don't you stick around and find out? What? Nice, nice. Capital and votes. Want to know why? I have a dream. What? That one day every person in this nation will control their own destiny. A land of the truly free, damn it. A nation of action, not words ruled by strength, not committee. Where the law changes to suit the individual. Not the other way around. Oh. Where power and justice are back where they belong. In the hands of the people! Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Where every man is free to think, to act for himself! Fuck all these lipstick lawyers and chicken shit bureaucrats! Fuck this 24 7 internet spew of trivia and celebrity bullshit! <laughs> Fuck American pride! Fuck the media! Fuck all of it! America is diseased, rotten to the core. There's no saving it. We need to pull it out by the roots. <coughs> Wipe the slate clean. Burn it down! 
And from the ashes, a new America will be born! Evolved, but unchanged! The weak will be purged, and the strongest will thrive, free to live as they see fit. They'll make America great again! What the hell are you talking about? You still don't get it. I'm using war as a business to get elected! So I can end war as a business. In my new America, people will die and kill for what they believe! Not for money, not for oil! Not for what they're told is right. Every man will be free to fight his own wars! So, what do you think? Uh, how the hell did you get elected? <laughs> well, I don't write my own speeches. You should try fighting for what you believe in sometime, Jack. Not for a company or a nation or for anyone else. Maybe I was wrong about you. Am I finally getting through? I'll rid this world of pointless wars, Jack. I was wrong. You're not greedy. You're batshit insane! Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. Not when you're purging the wheat, right? What do you know about the weak? You weren't born poor. You've never been hungry. You don't know what it's like to fight, and steal, and kill just to survive. But you did survive! Through sheer force of will, following your own set of rules. With your own two hands, you took back your life! And now, I'll take yours. Physical trauma. You 
can't hurt me, Jack. <laughs> what did I just say? Time to end this. Guy's a pain in my ass. So, you think that little sword can save your master? <laughs> well, go ahead then. But make no mistake, Fido. When I'm finished with him, you're next. I was not designed to fear termination. Huh? However, Directive 01 is to ensure all data acquired is preserved and passed along. To expire here would violate that directive. That's a good point. <sighs> However, Raiden came to my aid. I have learned from him. When Samuel fell, data analysis was inconclusive. But that has changed. I have established new parameters now, created my own directives. You little fuck.
the status quo will go on for a while longer at least war will continue as an institution as an industry men will fight for reasons they don't understand causes they don't believe in but at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. pet right for your family but first our top story president hamilton returns from pakistan today completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in shabazzbad last may in meetings with pakistani president farooq salam the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the war on terror whereby u.s marines will be stationed in pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country this is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable! After all that! For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden... There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> eh? <No. laughs> Oh, uh... <laughs> Oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kid. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! 
Where you have this den? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You're the same age as me, but all this spaceship? You're genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? Oh. 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 Alert. Alert. Resend it. This is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> uh. For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know? is a hero. Good, good. The Herr Doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear World Marshal's looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Uh, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? Fight. Looking down on the cars on the highway The stream of taillights Everybody is dancing together To so willingly sacrifice rights When people accept their cops in the system Give up free will can fall Individual pieces of the Looking down on the virgin insane The skyscrapers ride Even men with the greatest intentions Stop believing their own lies We can borrow from the future But eventually someone's got to pay Yeah. 
truth of the life that might have been, but no man dragging your back.